At Kiev's Golden Domed Monastery, it is the bells which ring out instead of air raid sirens, for now. Inside, they pray in a pause from strikes, which have shattered any normality which had returned to this city since the early days of war. People here told to stock up on water and conserve energy after missiles targeted what is essential. I think they can be more dangerous using their missiles. Like, like the day before yesterday, they, they used uh, to hit the critical uh, infrastructure in Ukraine uh, to shut down the electricity. They have been carrying out repairs where they can in Kyiv. Just one of the cities hit in a wave of attacks these past few days, killing at least 19 people. But one security expert based in the capital says it could have been far worse. In general, I would say that uh, it, it's rather under control and I should also salute our uh, military because almost 50% of the target of the missiles and drones were successfully intercepted. How to help Ukraine with its fight back, allies gathering at NATO headquarters in Brussels, planning more support. We need different types of air defence, short range, long range uh, air defence systems to take uh, uh, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones, different systems for different tasks. Um, and then, of course, uh, Ukraine is a big country, um, many cities, so uh, we need to scale up to be able to help Ukraine defend even more cities. Cities like Zaporizhia hit hard too in these strikes. There they continue to pull people like this family out of the rubble. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.